WFL are always uh, looking to develop new, new machines, new processes, uh, and during this period of uh, COVID, then um, we've been very busy in the background creating uh, some new software packages, uh, new uh, applications, solutions, and producing uh, some nice uh, new models uh, that are going to come along in the next couple of years. Simon, it's been a long wait. Mac 2022, we're here Thursday. Lots of people at the, on your stand as well as actually in the aisles. From your perspective, how's the show been? Mark, good morning, and uh, I'm delighted to be back at Mac. I mean, four years, it's, uh, it's a long time. Um, but I have to say, during the course of this week, we've seen so many customers, it's been really refreshing. Um, I think the, the attendees and the numbers have exceeded our expectations, uh, and I think everybody was just really pleased to be able to get out and go and press the flesh and meet people in person uh, after being sort of shut away for so many months. So uh, it's, it's been really refreshing, the halls have been busy, um, lots of new inquiries, so we hope that uh, this is going to kick start uh, the recovery. Now you've been quite lucky, um, obviously having fabulous uh, products like WFL and others that you represent. A lot of the industries that you're serving, aerospace and oil and gas, have been quite buoyant over the last few years, haven't they? Um, yeah, I mean, we've been fairly fortunate, even through the COVID period, um, we've maintained uh, pretty good order books, um, service and engineering is always, always busy. Um, so uh, the frustrations really been about not being able to get out and, and into the factories as we normally can so uh, and the customers have sort of made sure that the engineers can get access because they need to be running their machines and, and looking after their equipment um, but we've done so much sales work on the on the computer you know teams zoom etc etc so you know now now we're out back in the factories i'm really enjoying that because uh, it's where you get a flavor of what's going on with the customers and, and looking at some of the uh, companies you do represent, uh, like Hamburg and WFL, uh, Vila, for instance, you know, a lot of these guys have been really investing in new products and starting to launch them now. Uh, is that the same with some of your suppliers? Uh, I mean, WFL are always uh, looking to develop new, new machines, new processes. Uh, and during this period of uh, COVID, then um, we've been very busy in the background creating uh, some new software packages. Uh, new uh, applications, solutions, and producing uh, some nice uh, new models uh, that are going to come along in the next couple of years. And I, I think uh, traditionally with WFL, you know, very big on uh, mill turn, you know, obviously some huge machines, but they've introduced some smaller machines. Does that open up other doors with, uh, let's say, not just SMEs, but smaller subcontracting companies? Yeah, so we, we introduced uh, over the last uh, 12 months the M20. Uh, which is now our smallest mill turn. Um, it, it's uh, a one meter bed and it's a uh, 12 inch chuck or 10 inch chuck uh, size machine. So for us, quite a small machine. Um, and that family is going to grow over the next uh, 18 months. Uh, and I think we'll see a one and a half meter bed and a two meter bed machine coming along in the not too distant future. Now, quite exciting. Coming up in June, uh, we're going to be with you at WFL. They've got their open house. But what are they going to be showing? Uh, and for any uh, potential customers, why, why should they join you to actually uh, be at the event? So we've got the open house coming up uh, 21st to 23rd of June. I think we've got approximately 10 machines on show. Uh, and we'll be uh, exhibiting the M20 all the way through to our M150 uh, size machine. So there'll be a good range of machines on display. We'll be uh, showing all of our new software innovations during the, during the week. Um, and we've also got some very interesting applications work that we're undertaking, which I'm sure all of our customers uh, will learn from if they come and have a look. Now I'm going to put you on the spot and, and last question, how would you say about Mac 2022? I have to say I exceeded my expectations and we'll be looking forward to Mac 24. Thank you Mark. <laughs>